cannot wait for Patagonia. No turning back. We're there. I'm so confused. And then we'll continue on down the Carretera Astro. We left home to travel the world and brought work with us. Follow the journey as we immerse ourselves in cultures around the globe and inspire others to do the same. We're Brandon and Aaron. Subscribe and stay tuned. So we're leaving Santiago. Bye Santiago. We're out on the street. It seems like the protests are starting again today because we see the military all over the place. Good time to get out of here. <laughs> we'll be flying down to Puerto Montt to begin our journey south to Patagonia. Pacifico Lounge. There were good options for food. There was nice rice and soup and quiche. We got some wine. So we just boarded our flight to Puerto Montt. For the first time, we're not on the complete back of the plane. For some reason, we have like extra lights. It doesn't really seem like it though. <laughs> I'm really happy we switched to Puerto Varas instead of Puerto Montt. Backstory. We had an Airbnb booked in Puerto Montt, which is where the airport is and where we had a rental car. Our friends from Peru told us that we should think about switching to Puerto Varas. So we did. We found this apartment. It's so cute. I really think we're going to have a good two days here working and settling in before we leave for Patagonia. So sunset normally happens around 8.30 here. I don't know if the sun is already set or if this is just mood lighting. So we're gonna try to leave while there's some light, catch the lake, maybe get some food, see the downtown. We're just gonna go. Water side by Puerto Varas before it got dark and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy to be out of the city. We've been in Lima for so long. We've been in Santiago, just big cities with lots of traffic. It's amazing to be in a small town again. The first sign I knew that we were gonna be in nature. Well, one was Brandon got out of the airport and said, can you smell it? Clean air. I could just feel it. <laughs> but two, once we were driving out of the airport, we saw cows, pigs, all different kinds of things that we had not seen in so long and i'm not a big like farm girl or anything but it was so refreshing well i cannot wait for patagonia technically i think we're at the very north of patagonia but i can't wait for the rest of it so we just started driving and we are officially on the carretera austral the journey has begun it's been a little bit stressful we had to do a supply run and we really don't like Puerto Montt. <laughs> yeah. um, but now already just we're like five minutes outside of Puerto Montt and it's already getting beautiful so I'm excited. But we had a lot of shopping to do, we rented the car, we just had a lot of things so we had to check off our list before we started our journey. No turning back. This is crazy, the road like is about to literally just Exit, stop. then turn left. We exit, then turn left. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, I guess you just wait here. Our first ferry on the Carretera Austral. We're just lining up, I guess. Uh, what do you, and then a boat will come. What do you think? I, I don't know what to do. I think that we just wait here. Do you want me to go ask? Okay, I'll go ask. 
it's raining right now, which isn't great. It's been like a moody day and I'm excited to just get to the campground, get set up for the first night because we haven't even tested our gear. Hopefully once we get set up, then we'll be good. I've never seen a ferry like this. Oh man. It's Brandon's first time driving onto a ferry. Here we go. It's pretty small, honestly. We're the first ones on. Yeah. <laughs> I like that we were first too. Yeah. We get to go first. Go, Brian, go. Woo hoo hoo! Hey. paved already but we've been going over a lot of gravel roads so a lot of construction but I think that's good we made it to Horn up here and we're there this is a cute little town it's cute there's a nice little red church back there but we forgot some necessary items at the grocery market in Puerto Montt one being a wine opener we bought four bottles of wine but no wine opener so to be fair, they didn't have them, Oh, so. true, yeah. It's this huge supermarket. Didn't find them anywhere. We asked someone, they're like, oh yeah, we don't have that. I'm like, what? We're on a quest to find a wine bottle opener. You wouldn't think it would be so difficult in a country known for their wine, but it has been incredibly difficult. We're now at the third store checking right now. Now, Aaron ran in. I'm so confused. Chile is one of the biggest wine producers in the world, and no market has a wine opener. Literally, this is our fifth one that has, a, like should they do we, not have a cork Should we run back to that one? Rain pants are being put to use on night one. Here's our campsite for the night. So we're in our tent now. It's been a little bit of a trying night with the rain and our propane burner didn't work but now we're settled in. Hopefully day two goes better. We're hoping so. We're gonna catch a ferry early in the morning from Horno Piran, which is where we are. And then we'll continue on down the Carretera Astral. It's 7.30 in the morning. We just woke up and slept pretty well last night. Thankfully, we have this air mattress that was really nice. And we're ready to start day two off with the bay. The air ready. We are waiting for our ferry. Um, we have a, quite a while to wait, so we're just checking out these gorgeous morning views. You can see the ice cap. I've ever been on. It was just so beautiful. 
beautiful. Today is perfect compared to yesterday, which was not so perfect. We couldn't see a thing because it was so cloudy all day. Day two is really starting out hot. First ones. <laughs> wow, look at this line waiting to come on now. Okay, so this time we weren't even the first car to arrive and we were first on the ferry. They, they always pull me out and say, you go first. So we're, again, first on the ferry. We'll be probably the first one to leave even though there's three cars in the front line. I don't know why this is the case, but honestly I don't mind it because then we have the most beautiful view of, in yeah. front of us, no cars in front of us. And this person that just pulled up next to us has like four dogs in the car. <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. That's right. Oh, we're first. Come on, Bran. Show them how it's done. Yeah. Catch you later. So we just left uh, Caleta Gonzalo after our second ferry from Horno Piran. Uh, we're driving about 15 minutes until we get to Cascadas uh, Escondidas, which is a campsite, but it's also the trailhead for a waterfall hike. So it'll be our first hike in Patagonia. Super excited. That's the plan for today. I love trails like this. This is so cool. So we maybe almost been oopsie. I got it. Are you sure? It's, it's, I don't. I don't think you do. Can I get it? <laughs> Wait, you know? <laughs> it's just. It doesn't seem far enough away. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 